Hi everybody, this is Catherine, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Minecraft. I'm going to start with Parameter from Windows. After that, I'm going to talk a little bit about the launcher that I recommend for the most of FPS. And after that, we're going to look at uh, graphic parameter inside of the game. So first of all, write game mode in your search bar. Make sure that your game mode is at off. In this game, game mode seems to cause some issue with stuttering and stuff like that. So really important to put this one at off. Xbox game bar, I recommend to put also this one at off. And also I recommend to put all those uh, Discord overlay, AMD overlay, Nvidia overlay at off. After that, for the capture, make sure that the capture background recording and the recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend is the uh, hardware accelerated GPU. So uh, you need to look for graphic setting in your search bar. Uh, and uh, if you need like a, an NVIDIA video card series 1000 or uh, more recent, uh, you will need to check this and put this one at on to and restart your computer. It will help if you have something like a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, and also a 2060. You can expect a boost from 3 to 5%. And uh, if you have something more powerful than that, you will not necessarily see any difference. So that's a cool uh, tweak that you can do. Another thing that you can do is update your driver. So AMD, Nvidia, go on their website, uh, download the latest driver. If you have an Intel uh, CPU and you're using the Integrate GPU, go in on their website and update your driver. Don't use this um, the uh, update from Windows. It will just give you uh, some generic driver that will not help you for video games. So super important to go over there. Another thing that I recommend, it's the energy profile. So right energy, go to your power option. Uh, you will have some customized power plan, as you can see here. I really recommend to use balance or high performance. Don't use the power saver or some random uh, plan that comes with your laptop or whatever your PC. Uh, the main issue here is if you're playing on a desktop computer, honestly, you should be at balance. You will not have any issue. But when you use a laptop, sometimes you, when you plug and unplug on the wall, your laptop is staying at power saver and you will lose performance because of that. So super important to use the balance one. After that, I have a couple of guides on my channel that you can look at uh, for the CPU and GPU overclocking safely. Uh, you can expect some nice boost, 8 to 12% in your FPS. Again, it really depends on your computer, what kind of component that you are using and stuff like that, your thermal. So it depends, but you can expect some nice boost if you have a proper component and proper thermals. So this is it. Uh, now let's talk a little bit about the launcher. Uh, so the launcher that I recommend for Minecraft is Lunar Client. It's not necessarily the best launcher. Uh, it's more the, the launcher that will provide you the most of FPS, honestly. Um, it's really good. It's fast. You will have a lot of FPS. It's optimized for FPS. So that's why I recommend this. So first of all, in the launcher option, uh, the allocated memory, I recommend to go with 3 gig. With triggering, normally you can run easily this game. Uh, for sure, if you're running a lot of different mod and stuff like that, you will probably need a little bit more. But super important here, don't max your allocated memory because the, 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 the game will take it. So it really depends on how much RAM that you have available right now on your computer and just boost it if you can. For me right now, I, I'm, uh, I'm recording this video on a 32 gig of RAM. So definitely you can put at 8 if I want. That's not an issue, but super important. Don't max it because you will have some lag, stuttering and issues. So we're going to launch the 1.8. I'm going to show you 1.8 and 1.18 because uh, with those uh, parameters, honestly, you will probably see all the uh, different options that the launcher can provide you. So let's go to Minecraft setting. So the first thing that I want to talk here is the FOV. Not a lot of people is talking about it. When you use an IFOV, you're using uh, FPS because you're rendering much more stuff in front of you. So don't go crazy with your FOV. And if you're struggling with after all my guide with your FPS, lower it at 60 or even like 50. I know it's not ideal, but it will help you a lot for your FPS. So let's go to video setting first. Um, oh, some stuff I've reset it, I think. 
Yeah, that's weird. Okay, so graphic, make sure that you use fast. And uh, yeah, okay, sorry. I was looking at something. So graphic, make sure that you're using fast. And after that, use all the parameter that I'm currently using here. Uh, one thing I want to mention, the max frame rate really depend on your uh, uh, monitor and your Earths. For me, I have a 170 Hz monitor and I have free sync on it. So I'm locking my FPS at 165 because I want to make sure that I'm, I'm staying in my free sync range. So really important to use that. Um, and also, if you don't have free sync or G sync, you can just lock your FPS with the amount of Hz of your monitor. So if, if you have like a 60 Hz monitor, just go with 60. Uh, if you uh, render sometimes more FPS, yes, you can have like 80 or 90 on the laptop. But sometimes your thermal will go too high, will start stuttering, and you don't know why you're lagging. So always like lock it with your amount of Earths. After that, let's go to detail. So I'm not going to explain all the stuff that I changed, but just copy this. So this is detail. After that, we're going to go to animation. This will help a lot with your CPU. If you have like a low end CPU to remove a lot of animation stuff and particle will give you more FPS. So this is for the animation. After that, we're going to go to quality. So quality, uh, you can use the mip map level at maximum. No problem. Uh, mip map type, I'm using the nearest. Uh, and isotropic filtering, put this one at off. And also look at your uh, driver from your video card. I know sometimes NVIDIA is forcing the anisotropic filtering and uh, you will lose of FPS because of that. So really important to look at it. And I'm not using any anti-aliasing. So for the rest of it, just copy what you're currently seeing. So this was for quality. After that, performance. So I'm not using, as you can see, the smooth FPS over here. So this is pretty much it. And the last one, the other. So the other, uh, I'm using the show FPS. It's just like if you want to see your FPS when you're playing. If you're not using a, a software like MSI Afterburner or some, something like that, you can definitely put this one at on. I recommend to put weather off. I don't know why it was at on. And the other one that's really important, put your full screen at on. Right now it's at off because I'm using it like I'm alt tabbing the game a lot and I don't want to use it full screen, but this will help with your FPS, but it will also help with the stability of your game and stuttering, so super important to do that. So this is pretty much it for the uh, 1.8. So I'm going to put done. We're going to reopen the game at 1.18, on, 1. Uh, sorry. And this one doesn't have like a lot of option customization for your FPS. It's re running really smoothly. So I'll show you the one that are important. So it's loading, go to setting. So first of all, again, same thing for the FOV. It's pretty much the same. If you're going higher, you will lose FPS. If you go lower, you will gain FPS. Go to your uh, video settings. So the first one that you want to do. So again, it, my parameter reset. Uh, for Beyond Blend, you can go fast. Of course, you can go a little bit lower if you want. But I recommend fast. It's pretty good. Uh, graphic, I recommend fast also. Sorry, I'm just gonna lower the sound over here. Okay, good. Now we're back. So render four chunk simulation here. You want six. After that, the max frame rate again. It really depends on your monitor. For me, I'm gonna lock it at 170. Smooth lighting at off. This one you can really do a semi blocking. Uh, honestly, fully blocking or semi blocking. I'm not using V-Sync because I'm using the free sync monitor. So that's why I just put this one at off. Uh, after that, cloud, make sure this one is at off. Particle, minimal. Entity, shadow, at off. Mip map, you can stay at four. Again, make sure that you're using your full screen here. Uh, distortion effect is more like question of preference. It doesn't affect your FPS. And you have the entity distance at the end at 100 that I, I don't really touch. It's just a default thing. You can definitely go at 75 if you're struggling with it. 
So this is pretty much it, you guys, for the 1.18. If you have any question about Minecraft, just come in in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and uh, the amount of RAM that your computer have. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.